Hey you guys, Matt Coleman here with Digital Marketer, and today we're gonna to talk about four ways to maximize your Google Analytics. Here is a quick summary of one of our blog posts written by Tim Jensen with Overit.com. You can click on the link below to read the full article. Chances are you have or are interested in creating a website for your business. You might be using a variety of strategies to drive traffic from social media to email marketing, content posting, and PPC. Now that you have all these people on your site, it's important to understand their behaviors. Google Analytics is a great free resource to utilize when trying to understand how users are engaging with your site, but it can seem a bit overwhelming for people who are not used to this platform. Here are a few simple tips. Number one, don't focus on a single metric. You want to make sure that you don't have your eyes focusing on one single metric. Some marketers gauge success with conversions, others might focus on site visit or time spent on the site, and all this information is important, but you want to be sure to look at this data as a whole. Some of the top data that Google Analytics provides includes visits, unique visitors, average visit site duration, page views, bounce rate, mobile visits, organic search visits, and many others. Be sure to look at all of this to get an overview of how your site is performing. Tip number two, one size doesn't fit all. Some people are interested in knowing what the ideal amount of time is for someone to spend on a site, or what is a good bounce rate, and the reality is that it will differ for each site. For instance, if you have a site that is mainly being used as a blog, you should expect to have different data from say a site that is being used as a lead magnet, or a site that's used as a forum. You should be focusing on data to help in attempts moving forward. Testing is one of the most powerful ways to help improve your site, and with Google Analytics you have the ability to make these comparisons. Look for these changes and study them to better understand if you're making the right decisions moving forward. Tip number three, look at data over time. You don't want to make a quick decision after just a few days of testing, as you might have other data to take into account with your changes. You want to look at data all the way from the time of the day down to the time of the year to get the best ideas to trends that happen with your site and how to further test for improvements. Tip number four, do the work. Once you have a good understanding of how to interpret the data that Google Analytics provides, you want to make sure to take action. Looking at the data is great, but you need to take action to see any real results with your site. Once you've made the changes using the data, be sure to go back and evaluate for the next iteration of improvements. I hope you found all this information to be valuable, and if you would like to read the article, just click on the link below. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'm Matt Coleman with Digital Marketer, and thanks for watching.